I can see you in the studio there. Is he paying attention? Sean Plunkett, he's been bum calling me. My phone's been going bloody berserk, mate, and it's Oh, him. sorry, mate. Uh, sorry. Um, I'm going to put this in a sporting perspective for you. Steve Hansen leaves in 2019 after losing a World Cup and a squad that is disintegrating and playing stocks the lowest we've ever had them in 20 years, hands it to Ian Foster. Is this what Jacinda is doing to whoever takes over from the Labour Party from here? Um, I, I don't know, Marty. Uh, I I think it's a good analogy, though, isn't it? And I think, actually, uh, and I'm still processing it like everyone, I think it's a big call. I think having the top job and then walking away is a pretty decent thing to do. And I, I get the feeling, um, everyone says, oh, she's got a job at the, the flat next to the United Nations or anything. No, I, I, from what I've heard and and, and from what I'm reading... Someone who genuinely was out of out of gas and wants to, you know, she's been Prime Minister Neve's entire life, you know, uh, basically, and she wants to have a bit of me time. Okay, okay. Someone else, some unkind person said, some unkind person said, it's always all about her, isn't it? Um, the question now is, they're going to have this leadership vote on Sunday. Grant Robertson says he's out. Of course, right? mate. He, he knows. He's not he's he knows. There's no way my brilliant career, Steve Mahari, is going to put his name in for that and get shellacked in the election, is he? So, 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 Robert Robertson's out. They've got to get a two-third majority in caucus on Sunday, or then they've got to have this horrible process of going to the whole party. I think the next few couple of days, Labor, if it's got any sense, is going to come up with a leader uncontested on Sunday. Someone will simply be appointed and say there was no, there will be, argy-bargy, but someone will emerge as the leader and if they're going to have any chance of clawing back by October the 14th, which don't forget is the election date uh, set today, then they've got to have a leader, a new leader by Sunday who gets uh, gets on with the job pretty damn quick. And my pick is Hipkins or Wood. Uh, Michael Woods, uh, they're going to have to sort it out between them, right? Sean, OK, um, can you just put a perspective on this for us? When John Key resigned, uh, it was almost a similar situation, mm. wasn't it, where the writing was kind of on the wall and he left. Is there any similarity well, no, between not him? as no? much. OK, all right. Not as much with him. The thing that drove him was a obscure thing called your negativity rating that isn't published in most polls, and John Key could read polls and he could see what that... He got out really while he was still way more popular than the Prime Minister is now. He really preempted it, right? And But look what happened. They won, then lost the 2017 election. Bill English did, couldn't coalesce with Winston. It was disaster. Sent National out into the wilderness. Um, and that could well happen to Labour here. But I also think, I, I am going to say this because I've been reflecting on it and I reflected on it over Christmas, we have been in an era of real personality politics, really polarised politics. And that takes a, po- a, a toll on people. Some of the social media stuff I put up with has taken a toll on me. You know what it's like, Marty. Right. And what I hear from, from the Prime Minister is a genuine weariness and a genuine desire to get out of the cesspit that is media and politics. Um, so I'm no, not, not going to dance don't, on no, her, on her no, political no, grave, no, and no, I don't no, blame no. her. One iota. The really interesting thing is, and we've had nice messages from Luxon and from David Seymour saying all the best to her, etc., etc. And of course, you're nice when your opponent is down. Um, it is the best time to kick them, but you don't. You're always nice. But I, I, I Monday show is going to be great. Oh, tomorrow we've got. I think we've already got four or five experts lined up. We've course, got Chris Trotter coming in. Everyone's going. Bomber Bradbury. Brilliant, of course. Everybody's got to... We've got Preble, who knows a bit about uh, resigning in politics mm-hmm. and Prime Ministers resigning because he was there when Longy, the whole Longy thing fell to bits. I think it's going to be a fascinating show tomorrow. The working title of tomorrow's show is Jacinda Jumps. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, not pushed, catchy, not isn't pushed, it? Jacinda lip- Jumps. And she has... But, okay, Jacinda Jumps. The cynic yeah. in me, though, finally... Uh, that when she mentions in the press conference, she mentions, oh, you know, Neve, and then she mentions Clark, we're going to get married, and the Women's Weekly headlines that are going to come from that. I wish she would just leave that to one side, because if she was really genuine about that, as a well, as a person, I would feel like, you say those kind of things in private, you don't need to go public on that kind of stuff. That's your life. You just resign as Prime Minister, and, mm. and in a couple of weeks' time, announce all of that kind of stuff. But I, I just, I, I kind of, look, I'm a bit cynical. I kind of feel that she's gone the Helen Clark way, where she... 
is more manipulative uh, than what people give are actually prepared to say out loud oh, in public. I, I don't. And, and okay, and well, I'd in that case, uh, I'm Clark more cynical a than Sean Plunkett. And I never thought I would have ever said that. <laughs> um, look, I, I think the other thing too is this takes a toll on on people this game and I think it's taken a toll on here as I said very quiet over Christmas and now but we have a great leadership spill we find out on Sunday if Labour can get its act together at all and has a new leader and I'm if I was voting in the caucus, I'd be voting for... Um, oh, no, I can't put the kibosh on poor old Chris. Up no, you saying can't I, give him I the think he's competent. No, no. Yep. He's stuffed now. He's stuffed now, <laughs> isn't he? Um, yeah, it's like Devlin picking the Warriors to win the NRL, mate. No, that's it. That's the curse. Yeah, but curse look, I just think what a, start, what a start to the year, and it's so great to be in the swim and having the platform across this, all, all this stuff. So do listen in tomorrow morning. The other thing I want to do tomorrow morning, we've got plenty of time for talk back and texts. So it's as important with all the experts and the commentators. I want to hear what people think. Yeah, this is all about the voters and what their yeah, reaction the voters, is. Mate. I mean, the voters, are, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a right. democracy. So who do you want to see as Prime Minister, whether it's a Labour Party yeah. person or anyone else? Who do you want okay. to see? People? I'm going to make one prediction. I don't think it will be Nanaya Mahuta that replaces her. Okay, that's I'll make the other one. Free. It's not going to be this guy. Go the Highlanders. It's a freebie too. <laughs>